Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you all about the sources and platforms that I used for my NEET PG preparation. So I'll be listing them for each subject, rate them and discuss how I use them. I've tried my best to give you a very honest and uh, genuine opinion on all of them. I've also talked to a few of my friends uh, who have done some subjects from different uh, sources and have made sure to mention those which they found really helpful as well. So let's get started. Starting with first year, I did my anatomy from uh, marrow revision videos by Dr. Ashwani Kumar sir. He has done it very well. Uh, I would rate it a uh, solid 9 on 10. But the only thing which was missing was histology, which is not uh, given in marrow revision videos. But this was a lifesaver for me during this year's NEET PG as the strike rate was very good. Almost all the questions uh, from anatomy were asked from just 60 pages of his revision uh, notes. So if you are going to refer uh, marrow revision notes, uh, anatomy as your main source, please make sure to solve a lot of PYQs and MCQs. So whenever you come across a histology or an embryology MCQ, if it is a PYQ, please make sure to add it to your notes and revise it from there. But if you are someone who has a lot of FOMO and uh, if you want everything to be in your notes and not rely on MCQs or PYQs, then I would advise you to do it uh, from Bhatia or DBMCI live lectures by Ashwani Kumar sir himself. So that way it will cover more than what he has covered in marrow revision videos. But overall, I highly recommend doing anatomy from Dr. Ashwani Kumar sir. Coming to physiology, I did this again from marrow revision videos by Dr. Krishna Kumar sir. It's very decent. The notes are really well done and um, I would rate it around 8 out of 10. But if you're someone who really loves integration between physiology and other subjects like medicine, pharmacology and pathology, then I would recommend you to do it from uh, BTR by Dr. Zainab ma'am. So coming to biochemistry, uh, again I did this from uh, marrow revision videos by Dr. Rebecca ma'am. She has actually taught it very well and um, has also covered uh, almost all the PYQs. But one thing which I felt missing was uh, the integration between different cycles and different uh, metabolisms could have been given as given in first aid or as taught in uh, BTR by Dr. Zainab ma'am. Um, and uh, could have added some more mnemonic centrics into the notes as uh, biochemistry is a very volatile subject. But her teaching is on point, so I would rate it around 8 out of 10 and uh, I would highly recommend uh, doing it from Dr. Rebecca ma'am. So for mnemonic centrics, you can watch videos by uh, Dr. Nikita Nanwani ma'am on YouTube. So it was my go-to channel for all the volatile topics. Let's roll into the second year subjects, starting with pathology, which again, I did it from marrow revision videos by Dr. Ila ma'am. She has taught very well. The notes are really good and has covered most of the PYQs. I would rate it around 8 on 10. For a conceptual understanding, especially for the topics that are not quite clear to you, uh, you can supplement it with pathoma videos. Now let's talk about pharmacology. I did this from uh, marrow revision videos by Dr. Ranjan sir. He has actually taught it very well and uh, the notes are very dense. To be able to appreciate the notes, uh, you have to go through it at least two to three times. It has covered almost all the PYQs. I'll rate it a solid nine on 10. One more source which I used during my UG uh, was Dr. Gobindrai Garg sir's lectures. They're very good, filled with tricks and mnemonics. During my actual need preparation, that is uh, after internship, I stuck to marrow revision notes and uh, here and there I used to refer uh, Goga sir's notes only for tricks and mnemonics. So one more tip that I would like to give you guys uh, about pharmacology is to go through the recently approved drugs. So one or two months before this year's need, there was a new drug uh, approved called uh, Lenacapavir for HIV profile access. It was all over the news. So I really expected a question from that in this year's need, but sadly that didn't come. So it might be appearing in next year's need or INI, God knows. So the point is go through all the recently approved drugs as they can be asked in NEET or INSAT. Lastly, microbiology, which I did from marrow revision videos by Dr. Abdul Nasir sir. He has taught it very well. Micro, which was one of my weaker subjects, became one of my stronger ones after going through his notes many times and solving a lot of MCQs, especially PYQs. And his notes are very concise, just 60 pages, yet it covers almost all the PYQs. So definitely deserves a 10 on 10. So he teaches also on uh, DBMCA or Bhatia. But I've compared both the notes, uh, the marrow revision notes, as well as uh, DBMCI live lectures notes. I didn't find any significant difference. So you can study either of them and you'll be good to go. So if you have some more time, you can also study microbiology from first aid. But just don't bother about some 
irrelevant data like uh, international or american prevalence of some diseases or some geography stuff which are never asked in neat or ini and virology is also given in much more depth than is required for neat or ini but other than that everything else is very relevant and uh, including immunology which is actually given very well in first aid coming to third year subjects let's start with the big guy uh, the subject which i think had the highest weightage in this year's neat pg that is psm so again the, i did this from marrow revision videos uh, taught by dr uh, mukmohit sir it's actually really good covers most of the pyqs except some concepts in statistics for which you have to solve a lot of questions and a lot of pyqs and add it to your notes so i would give it around 8 out of 10 for statistics you can actually go through first aid just once uh because it also has some mnemonics to remember very confusing uh, stuff like uh, type 1 and type 2 errors and many such things so yeah just go through first aid for statistics at least once coming to forensic medicine i did this from marrow revision videos by dr magendran sir it's very decent and uh, almost all the pyqs are covered but some topics like ossification centers and some others they could have been given better and though the important legal sections are given separately in the last two pages of the revision notes which i really liked a more comprehensive list including the ones which are given under relevant topics if they were also repeated in the end then that would have been much better but still it's a very good source i recommend it and i rate it 8 on 10 now about ent i did this from uh, marrow revision videos by dr manisha ma'am both her teaching and the notes are amazing uh, it covers all the pyqs but for some the notes might not seem concise enough considering ent is a minor subject as ma'am has tried to cover everything but still because of her amazing teaching and uh, conceptual understanding i highly recommend it and uh, it's an easy 10 on 10 any day coming to aftal i did this from uh, marrow revision videos by dr rutsav sir covers many pyqs uh, it's very decent but uh, i feel like they could have squeezed some more pyqs into the notes and could have made it even more high yield but still the notes are very concise and it's very revisable um so i would still recommend doing it from marrow revision notes and i'd rate it around 8 on 10 now let's get to the big fat ones the final year subjects starting with obg so i did this again from marrow revision videos by dr sakshi ma'am and honestly it's too good the notes are very well done with flow charts and tables wherever possible uh, it covers almost all the pyqs it's an easy 10 on 10 any day uh so yeah i highly recommend it but if you are someone who has done it already from uh, dams uh, by dr deepthi ma'am and you have her notes then uh, stick to it there is no need to have any fomo as her notes are also very good and btr is also really good but i would recommend it only if you are really short of time so it's like a general rule if i haven't made it quite clear by now whenever you are really short of time refer to the most concise source possible and among all the super concise sources btr is the best and hats off to zainab ma'am for creating such an amazing source so if at all by chance ma'am you're watching this a very big fan here now coming to surgery i did it from uh, marrow revision videos by dr rohan sir it's very good though it's a bit bulky it covers most of the pyqs the recent advances and potential questions uh, so yeah a solid 9 on 10 but if you are someone who is starting from scratch uh, starting fresh and you have at least 7 to 8 months before the exams then instead of going for the marrow main videos i would recommend you to do it from uh, bhartia or dbmc live lectures by dr jay arora sir as he has taught very well in great detail and uh, has covered all the important topics now let's talk about medicine so in my final year i had watched uh, dams for medicine which is actually very good and had made notes of it but i never really opened it again uh, so in the last 3 months of neat that is during my actual preparation i kind of neglected medicine but in my opinion i was right in doing so because uh, it finally worked out for me so what i did was i solved a lot of pyqs and marked them all in my dams notes and i just studied those things so if in any exam if medicine has like some 20 questions if your basics are really good and you have good hold of first and second year subjects you can easily get at least 10 of them correct so to get the next 5 correct you have to study the core concepts of medicine the important topics which are mostly previously asked questions like abg and other topics so to get the last 5 correct you have to study medicine properly in great detail 
but sometimes educated guessing and uh, your internship knowledge will also help you to get at least two or three correct out of the last five questions so in my opinion there are two ways to go about medicine if your basics are not good and you want to start from scratch and study medicine properly in great detail you can do it either from dams or from bhatia dbmca where dr tamim sir has also taught very well personally marrow didn't work for me because i felt it was too vast and not well structured but if you're someone with a very good basics a strong foundation uh, basically a great hold of first and second year subjects then i highly recommend you uh, to do it from btr and supplement it with pyqs and a lot of mcqs uh coming to pediatrics i did this from uh, marrow revision uh, videos by dr singaram sir it's actually very good very concise and covers most of the pyqs so i would rate it 8 on 10 but if you have some more time please go through first aid at least for the topics like uh, glycogen storage disorders and others which which also have an overlap with biochemistry so finally coming to the minor subjects skin anesthesia radiology psychiatry and orthopedics so again i referred uh, marrow revision notes for all of them orthopedics dermatology and uh, radiology is given very well in marrow revision notes uh, i would rate it 8 to 9 out of 10 psychiatry and anesthesia are also very good i would rate it around 8 out of 10 but the thing about minor subjects is the source doesn't really matter see i was studying from marrow revision notes for the minor subjects uh, which is already a very concise source but because i was very short of time i couldn't even read that much uh, so what i did was i solved all the pyqs and marked them in my marrow revision notes and i just studied those so the point i'm trying to make is you can't go wrong with any source or platform for the minor subjects i also did some minor subjects from btr after need to just see how it is given uh, they too are really good and i highly recommend them so finally we'll also talk about some additional resources tools or apps that i used and obviously i can't miss chat gpt it's an amazing tool and helped me immensely during my neat pg preparation so there is also an option to personalize chat gpt uh, where you can just type that you are a neat pg aspirant then chat gpt will frame your answers in a very structured way suited for neat pg and including uh, mnemonics and stuff and the best one for the last my personal favorite anki flash cards I've been using Anki since third year, and they're absolutely phenomenal. Anki is a digital flashcard app which emphasizes spaced repetition. There are a lot of videos on YouTube uh, teaching you how to use Anki, but the problem is people often make it more sophisticated, uh, which results in very few people actually using it. So there is a video on you, my YouTube channel, where I have uh, explained Anki in great detail. So I have put the link in the description. Please check it out. and i can promise you that you will at least consider using anki once you actually get to know how easy and how simple anki really is if this video has helped you in any way please subscribe and share this video i'm trying my best to make very honest and genuine content to help you with your neat preparation so every single share a like or a subscriber goes a long way in motivating me to make more content like this so just think of me as your friend who has just cracked neat pg and is eager to help you in any way possible if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section i'll reply to all of them keep rocking